What is up, ladies and gentlemen? But most of all, you ladies out there, thanks for clicking on another episode of Break the Silence. I am your host, Cyborg. Mike James says Steph Curry is one dimensional. Up next, Split Cow! It is the time of the day where we talk some hoops, and I'm pumped for that. We got a banger for you today because this video and this topic has so many layers we want to talk about. Mike James, former Brooklyn Net, came out on a podcast saying that Steph Curry is a one-dimensional basketball player, and that's why he doesn't have Steph Curry in his top five. I want you to listen to the video. I'm going to post it right here. And Steph. Like, how he plays and how he gets stuff off, just, it's just kind of one-dimensional at times. Crazy, crazy to listen to, is it not? Steph Curry, who just won finals MVP, has four championships, has two MVPs, including the only unanimous MVP of all time, was criticized by Mike James. And we're going to get into this because I think this is important, not only talking about Steph Curry, but also talking about credibility when it comes to talking about the NBA. First, please take a second to like and subscribe to the channel. We're growing so fast. We just blew past 300 subs and we're going to keep heading in that direction. So please take a second to like and subscribe. We got so much more basketball content to talk about and I'm pumped to do so. We got our new setup back here with my jerseys, just set it up yesterday, pumped about that, but let's get into it. So one of the things that you'll see commented on a lot of my videos, especially going forward as we continue to grow, is a lot of people will say, what is your credentials to talk about the NBA? And you hear this when you're talking about famous um, analysts, such as Nick Wright, people like that, who never played in the NBA maybe didn't even play at the collegiate level. And myself, I, I didn't play in the NBA, obviously, and I didn't play at the collegiate level. Played a lot of basketball in my life, but for whatever reason, we feel the need to say, you didn't play in the NBA, you don't have the right to talk about it. You don't, you don't understand the game, you don't know how to analyze it. And I think that this quote by Mike James here proves that playing in the NBA and playing ba basketball at a high level has nothing to do with your knowledge of the NBA. Has nothing to do with your knowledge of the sport. Mike James saying Steph Curry is a one-dimensional basketball player is about the dumbest quote I've ever heard. And about the least knowledgeable basketball quote I've ever heard. We're going to break down why that's so crazy. Um, here because I have, I, I have so many things to, to, to just tear that apart. But we have a guy in Mike James who played in the NBA, played 49 games for the uh, in the NBA in his career, averaged 8.9 points, shot 38% from his career. For comparison, Steph Curry shoots higher than that from the three-point line. Mike James saying Steph Curry is one-dimensional is – Ludicracy. And just because Mike James played in the NBA, people will listen to his opinion or listen to what he has to say. The reason that I talk NBA basketball and the reason that I feel like I want to get out, get on here and analyze it is because I put the time in studying the game, studying the analytics, study, watching the games. So you, we talk so much about analytics versus eye test. But it's putting those things together, analyzing the sport, analyzing the game to where we can talk about it and have discussions and have intelligent conversations where we're not saying nonsense. We're not saying things to get clicks. Because a lot of you, maybe not a lot of you, but a lot of people out there don't know who Mike James is. There's no reason to know him. He had a horrible NBA career. And yes, I'm going to roast Mike James a little bit here because of the, the pure stupidity here in his comment. His top five was Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Joel Embiid, um, Giannis, and I think he had Luka at number five. And when they asked him about Steph Curry, he said the quote that I played earlier. 
there, there's so many there's so many things to break down here, but let's start with this. Steph Curry, last season, and I just looked up last season's stats, and we know that Steph Curry has won two MVPs like I talked about. Last season, Steph Curry had 132 catch-and-shoot makes, 226 pull-up jump shot makes, and 173 makes within 10 feet of the basket. So you're talking about a man who quite literally is about as far from one-dimensional as you can possibly get. I don't even know, I can't even really think of a good example of an NBA player who is one-dimensional. Maybe like a Kyle Korver, who's just the most elite shooter, just brought in to be a top five shooter all time. Maybe maybe you would say Kyle Korver's pretty one-dimensional. But when you're talking about Steph Curry, you're talking about a man who scores at can score at any level on the court. Steph Curry, one of the things that blows me away when I watch him, obviously the greatest shooter of all time, but his floater game, his, his touch near the basket, his finishing is unbelievable. And then you talk about Steph Curry's um, handles. He's probably got a top five, top 10 handle all time. You're talking about guys like Kyrie Irving, Allen Iverson, the old Isaiah Thomas. Um, you know, there, there, there's a couple other guys on that list, but when you're talking about top five handles all time, Steph Curry's in that discussion. So you're talking about the greatest shooter of all time, an elite finisher who made 141, uh, uh, 173 of his shots within 10 feet, which is about a third of his ba- makes. So about a third of his makes are around the basket. And then he has over 200 from the three. Oh, I think it was over 300 from the three point line. How is someone making half their shots from inside, half their shots from outside, one-dimensional. You're also talking about a man who averaged 6.3 assists. So you're talking about an elite playmaker. What makes Steph Curry so deadly? And this is, and if you listen to the rest of the video from Mike James, which I would highly recommend going and, and looking up that video, Mike James talks about how he thinks Steph Curry is successful because of the system he's in. How uh, the Warriors system has benefited Steph Curry greatly. And I hate these discussions. I hate trying to diminish Tim Duncan because of his coach or because of the system he was in. These systems are successful because of those players. Phil Jackson's triangle was successful because of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Tim Duncan in the Spurs culture was successful because of Tim Duncan. The Patriots were successful because of Tom Brady. Yes, these coaches might be all-time greats. And you might say Phil Jackson, you might say Popovich, top five coaches all time. You could certainly make that argument. But you cannot diminish a guy like Tim Duncan, Steph Curry, Tom Brady because of the system. Because the reason that that system is so effective is because of them. And the reason that the Warriors have been so elite and so deadly is because of Stephen Curry. Because of the attention he draws because of the way that you have to play defense against Steph Curry. And we saw the Celtics, who were the best defensive team in the NBA, have no answer for Steph Curry. Because there is no answer for a man who's so elite at everything. No, he's not the most athletic man on the court. He's not going to dunk like LeBron. That's the one, the one part of his game that, that's the one dimension he doesn't have. He's, 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 He's one-dimensional that he's not good at <laughs> because he's good at everything else. And he's not even a bad defender. When you look at how he's progressed, he's actually become an above-average defender. So Steph Curry, great finishing, great shooting, great passing, and above-average on defense. Sounds like more than one dimension to me. Let's talk about Steph Curry. 223 makes with what's considered tight coverage, meaning a defender's within two to four feet of you. He had 291 makes in what's considered open or wide open. So you're talking about a man who can shoot, catch and shoot, can shoot pull up, can take the ball to the basket, can shoot when there's a defender close, can shoot when he's wide open. To say that Steph Curry is a one-dimensional basketball player is an idiotic statement. And it shows your lack of knowledge of the sport and what you're seeing out there. This shows that just because you played in the NBA doesn't necessarily mean your knowledge of the game is top notch. And no, I'm not sitting here saying that I have the most knowledge of the NBA of anyone out there. Definitely not saying that. But I study the game at an intense level. And I watch 
the game intently to analyze what I'm seeing so that we can we can learn and we can talk about it and we can discuss it because we love the, the NBA. But what I don't want to come out here is make a fool of myself and say things like Steph Curry is a one-dimensional basketball player because that's not true and it's just straight up line. If you want to diminish Steph Curry, a lot of people do. A lot of people want to say that, that you could you can beat him up or, or, or whatever people have used to diminish Steph Curry. And it's crazy that I'm a Celtics fan and I have to come out here and I've released this is like my fifth video where I have to just rave about Steph Curry because it's ridiculous the way that he's covered and the way that he's talked about. He truly does not get the credit he deserves as, uh, to me, one of the 10 greatest players of all time. And this quote by Mike James is ridiculous, and this is why Mike James is not in the NBA, because he clearly doesn't understand what he's seeing on the court, and clearly doesn't understand the greatness of other NBA players, and that's probably why he failed. That's probably why he's playing overseas. Little Mike James hate for the road. Cyborg out.